Hi everybody, this is Amy Hager and today I've got some special guests. I got my little boy River Hager and I got my little girl Pepper Hager and today we're going to make River's favorite smoothie. He's been waiting all morning long for this smoothie and this is a banana mango smoothie and the cool thing about this smoothie is it's really really inexpensive. I go to a store, I buy a lot of my bananas for 20 cents a pound because they are slightly spotty brown which is perfectly ripe and so I could get 10 pounds of bananas for two dollars and then these mangoes are a dollar 49 each so this smoothie cost me a total of well no more than let's say even if I used all those bananas which I'm not but let's say it's two dollars for that and then three four and then 50 cents each so it's five dollars and this smoothie will fill up the entire blender this is a 64 ounce container which will feed the whole family so it'll feed me their daddy and then the two kids so I have uh, I always have a dish, so I put these Pyrex dishes together and I take the bananas, I peel them, and I put them in the dish. And then I, um, I already let them sit out just a little bit so they get slightly softer. And then I'm going to have my little cutter. Can you cut these for me, River? So it's really important to let the kids get involved. <laughs> you want to cut here, Pepper? I'm going to give her a banana to cut too because then they won't fight over it. They both kind of they want to help really bad. So um, I actually taught them how to do a lot of uh, skills with the knife early on. <laughs> and it looks like he's getting halfway through the bananas, which is okay. Here, let me help you with the rest. Okay, and then you gotta fill it up in the container. I'm gonna put it up here. And go ahead, start putting all the little pieces in the container. So when they are involved and they are a part of the process, and they're going to want to eat the foods a little bit more because they help to make it. And plus it makes it taste better. So for two, three, yeah, for $5, I think it's a pretty good deal to go ahead and make this mango banana smoothie. So for this first batch, all I'm going to do is make this with mangoes and bananas. And I'm going to pour some of it out because he likes it really plain. And then for my daughter, she likes it a little bit sweeter. So when, for her, I'm going to add in some maple syrup, a little bit of cashew milk yogurt, and a little bit of almond uh, milk just to make it a little bit sweeter. So that might add, I don't know, let's say like another dollar onto the whole process. Oh. Well, that one was a little melted. <laughs> That's okay, get a towel. And then I'm gonna take our mangoes. I put the mangoes on the side. So you know how to cut the mango when you take the mango and it rolls onto the side. So the seed lays flat. So we're going to cut into the mango and I'm looking for the seed. And as I find the seed, I'm starting to follow along the flat edge of the seed to cut it open. So I got my little mango half. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to do this with both mangoes. And then we get a spoon. Can you get me a spoon, baby girl? Yeah. So where are they at? And with my son, he likes to eat the sides of the seed. So I take the sides and I peel them and he, this is always the first thing that he eats. I've had pictures of him and it looks like he's eating french fries <laughs> and he's not, he's eating the mango slice. So here we go with that. Oh, you got the spoon. You're helping me with scoop out that mango and I'm going to get the second one cut up. Are those french fries? Good french fries. <laughs> Yeah, so mangoes, they've been eating mangoes since they were babies. This is definitely one of their favorites. Um, I make it plain for myself a lot as well, but I know that their daddy and pepper specifically like it a little sweeter, even more so than just the fruit. And I say, why not? You know, everyone's going to have their own different little tastes and preferences. So this is how we're able to accommodate everybody in the family because we all want something slightly different even though it's very similar. So something similar but different. I'm go ahead and put all the mango pieces in there. Great, thank you. You put that into the blender. So Pepper, what do you think about these mango smoothies? You've been eating these since you were a baby. Oh, so she's, she's just going to go ahead and eat the leftover mango that's in there. Now, is it too hard to get it out? <laughs> so when they were babies, I used to put them in the baby bottle. And uh, 
I used to cut a hole in the baby bottle so that the smoothie would come out because the smoothie is a little bit thicker. And so they have been eating these ever since they were a baby. These mangoes could be a little bit riper. So you know they're riper when they're more yellow. You can see this one's slightly more yellow than this one. This one's uh, could ripen up a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead, peel that one open. Put that in there. So I put both my mango halves into the smoothie bowl. We got one last one to go. Are oh, you gonna do that one for me? Okay, so I got a helper. So thank goodness. This is what gets awesome in, when you, their kids get older. They start helping out in the kitchen, which is great. Pepper's making a lot of her own food. River makes his own rice. And they're just, they're growing up so much and they are doing really, really well. If you need help, just let me know. So I'm gonna go ahead, throw these pieces away. Careful with the knives. Okay, I got it. Thanks, River. Thanks, Pepper. Okay, great. Now we just, wait, we gotta put the water in. Yeah. Otherwise it won't blend up. So there's really no rhyme or reason to the water. What I am doing is just putting in enough to make sure that it blends. So we're gonna take this, put in, I use distilled water, so I'm gonna go ahead, or actually it's called RO water. And I have a little tap on my sink, so I'm just filling that up right now. And I'll fill it about halfway. Okay, so we're gonna put the mango. Wait, you gotta always have the top on. So you guys note to self, especially with children, danger. Do not ever put the blender on the blender machine without the top on. Pepper would love to just have that fly all over my ceiling. <laughs> Go ahead, turn it on. Do the dance. All right, who's ready to try some mango smoothie? Me. You wanna try this one or you wanna try the one that's more sweet? More sweet. In order to make it a little bit more sweet, we're gonna go ahead and put in some almond milk. So now I need a half of a cup of the yogurt. So go ahead and scoop it in. And yeah, if it spills in there, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Just pour that in. <coughs> Yummy, that looks delicious. And then we're gonna use a tablespoon of the maple syrup. Yeah, keep pouring it in and shake it a little bit. So yeah, when they were little, I always put them with sippy cups um, so that it wouldn't spill. Okay, so we have a little bit of a mango spill, so my son left to go put on some fresh clothes. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take my maple syrup. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of maple syrup into, actually I'm gonna do about two tablespoons. <laughs> so we got that going, and now we're gonna get ready to blend up the rest of the smoothie. Okay, go ahead, blend it up. I hold. Okay, go ahead. Do you want a big cup or a little cup? A little cup, okay. So she always likes the little ones. So we're gonna go ahead. You wanna do a taste test for me? Uh-huh. Tell me if it's any good. Is it good? <laughs> all right, so I guess we're gonna make this again, you guys. Sending you guys all our love. Go eat some smoothies. Yeah. Five dollars, <coughs> see you later. Bye. Bye.